Oh, it is time to bring in our first of two guests today. Going big with Mark Canna out in Oakland. Mark, thanks for joining us live on IT. And look who it is making his MLB Network debut. Say hello to Yonder. Mark, Mark what's up, man? Yonder, my there dude. There he is, man. That's my oh, guy. Oh, man, I love it. Mark, Mark, Mark I got to ask you, man. I, I got to ask. I got to ask. During this yeah. whole situation where you guys were winning games after games after games, what was that pressure like? I know after games, when you guys are winning in that clubhouse, which is a little tight at times, you guys have a lot of fun when you guys win. Was there any pressure yeah. leading up to every game that you guys were winning? No, you know, it didn't feel like that at all. It kind of just felt like we're like, you know, yeah, this is what we do. This, <laughs> and, and it was just, uh, it was just fun. Like we just come to the park and have fun every day and we expect to win. And, and we're just kind of like, don't really care. I don't think we really care about the streak or, you know, I think I, if I had to guess, we'll do it again sometime this year. So, um, you know, it's just the, the personality of this team. Are you a superstitious guy or anyone else on the squad? I feel like people always think, okay, oh. we've won this many in a row. All of a sudden, do everything the same. Everybody walk in at the same time. Same this, same that, same food. And I know you're a big foodie, actually, yeah. by the way. So what was the plan there? Um, I don't think there's any team superstitions. I, I mean, we, we had that we just riding the wave the whole time. And then that was the thing. So now we're we're kind of sticking to that motto and and it works for us. And, uh, you know, I think it's it's less of a superstition and more of just a kind of a mentality. Listen, I know that that you wear your scully and you wear your mask when things aren't going so good. You have to bat flips when you're feeling good and saucy. Let me ask you this. When is that coming back? When are you going to, I know it gets a little chilly down there in, in the Coliseum. When are you going to be yeah. wearing that back? And when are you going to, you're going to be enjoying that aspect of your game with bat flipping and all? Yeah. Well, it's kind of tough this year because the ball really isn't flying here <laughs> as well as it has or as it can. So a lot of times, even if I hit a home run, I'm not sure if it's going out or not. So I, you know, the worst thing I could do is do a bat flip and then the ball, you know, gets caught or bangs off the wall. So uh, I'm going to wait till I, I really get one and I'll do one just for you, yo. <laughs> I like that. that. We, we got to create a little more buzz, too. I just want to make sure everyone knows, hey, Yonder's the big man here at MLB Network now, Mark. So give us something good on Yonder. We, we need something to go viral here so the oh. whole world knows. Yonder's making his debut. Oh, it's a Friday. It's beautiful outside. I want everyone to be scrolling through their phones going, wait, Yonder Alonzo's on MLB be Network gentle. now? Be gentle. Be gentle. I mean, I got nothing but nice words to say about my man, Yonder. <laughs> the guy, it just... In all seriousness, I mean, we had a lot of fun together and we're friends and we joke around and stuff, but the guy is a, a professional to a T and uh, he helped me so much while he was here in Oakland with my swing and we, we love talking, hitting and and even, even defense. I remember him helping me with like defensive stuff at first base and and he would do that with everybody. And it was, it was just, uh, he was an incredible guy to have around and an incredible teammate. And that's what I'll always remember. I've, I've been blessed. I've had a lot of those over the years. Man, I need some tissue right now. My goodness, <laughs> humbling words, man. I can't, I can't, I can't thank uh, you enough uh, for those words, man. Absolutely. You, I, you, you're, you guys are first class. Well, ask anybody. I mean, yonder's the best, so. Hey, That's listen, my answer. I know you like movies. I, I know you like movies. You know, I know you you, uh -huh. you definitely at some times give some Bull Durham uh, uh, quotes on interviews. Now, have you yeah. slipped any more movie quotes uh, while talking to the media at all? Uh, no, I only did it at the one time my rookie year. And, and that was uh, I kind of had had the quote kind of cocked and ready to fire and uh, the situation came up where I thought it would play nicely and so I just rolled with it. Hey Mark. But I am a big movie quote guy in the stretch circles. Yeah, you've got to you've got to mix some in for us. 
um, just sneak one in like you know you're on the the post game uh, video <laughs> conference or something like that you have something oh, like God. ready to go and you Under just mix pressure. it in like or organically at some point for us can you do that uh, yeah I'll, I'll make that happen thank you very much appreciate it hey by the way on the field yeah. um, leading off has leadoff life going it's good um, you know, it still feels a little different, a little weird, um, but I think I'm doing a good job I'm getting on base. Uh, scored a bunch of runs this month, and you know, all in all, I'd, you know, if I was grading myself, I, I'd say it's pretty good month for my first month ever leading off in the big leagues, and and uh, just kind of just want to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, ride the wave. If you can replicate that, I think the A's will take it. Your team also as a whole has yeah. had a dominant month. So, and let's see if you can dominate what we're bringing to you next. So, uh, Yonder knows on IT, it's all games. So let's start, and we made one just uh -oh. for you, Mark Canna. Mark Canna or can not? Okay, so and okay. Th this should be easy for you. I'm gonna start nice and simple. I know you're a Sharks fan, right? So, Mark yeah. can or can not Ice skate. Oh, I can. Uh, I played hockey growing up. I I played hockey until I was 13. Like like club travel ice hockey. I can yeah I could skate. I, I love can that. Skate well. Hey, you played. Listen, <laughs> I, I I know that you can skate because I know you've told me about that before. But I know you played in the Cape Cod yeah. League. Mark, can or can you not cook some New England clam chowder? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm going to say no. Not a good one. <laughs> I think there's a lot of I think there's a lot of bad clam chowders out there, and I think if I tried to do it, it would be a bad <laughs> one. My favorite uh, hot lo – I'm saying hot lobster roll because it was actually hot. Most of the lobster rolls are cold, but I, I called games for, for oh. Chatham. You both played for Brewster out in Cape Cod. There's hot lobster rolls. Uh -huh. I don't remember the name of the place. I could have given them a ton of credit just now, but oh. it was money. I'm sure you took advantage out there. Yeah, there was like this little shack right by Brewster's Field that I would go get like, you know, crab sandwiches before the games and stuff. It was like ridiculous. So, like right. $24 crab sandwich for lunch. <laughs> Paid way too much for, for my budget back then, but. <laughs> I agree, yes. Uh, the little that I made out there was gone in like the first week and change. You know, you go out, you have, yeah. you know. A few nice meals and you're done. Um, and then I'm, you know, you're calling mom and dad, and they're like, "Nah, deal with it. Get a second job," which which I did. So anyway, uh, yeah. before the games, I don't know if you do this, but you did tweet about it, uh, doing yoga. And I'm wondering if Mark can or cannot do downward dog. Nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I, I do I I do some yoga stuff. Uh, Every day, a little bit in my warm-ups. It's a little bit of downward dog, kind of sun salutation type stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I like to, I have a lot of kind of versatility in the way I get myself ready, get my body ready. Can you tree pose for us or is that too much to ask right now? My, you can say, Scotty, relax. Oh gosh, I, uh, well, yeah, relax. <laughs> Thank you, <No>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, I say, the I reason say, I said Mark, that is, Mark. I don't even know what that pose is. It's like standing one leg, then you, it's kind of like a, a one leg Is balance, it this? but That's yeah, like, kind of like that. There we exactly. go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and the, I don't want the A's <laughs> We're to know me like Scotty, you know, he's going to pull something. So leave, leave the guy alone uh, and use his mouth. Go yonder. <laughs> I guarantee you with Mark, he's probably going to be looking it up later on in the clubhouse. He's going to be like, all right, let me see what this thing is about. Let yeah. me see if I can get better. That's yeah. my favorite. So, so yeah. uh, I kind of like that. Now, listen, I didn't know this about you, but you took a Bob Dylan class at Berkeley. Mark, can or can you yeah. not name the best Bob Dylan song? Uh, for me, it's like a Rolling Stone, and it was my walkout song mm. in 2018. And nice. I think it's uh, I think it's Rolling Stone magazine's number one song of all time, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I really so, like Knocking on Heaven's Door. I'm a huge for Bob. me. That's the one that does. Oh, me. that's a good one too. And, yeah, and we have really amazing research too. too, Mark. So they told me already you are correct. That was number one all time. Well done. I nice. Did, did you yeah. do school? Or what, what was it? Uh, there was the rock class that a lot of people did yonder at, at Miami. Did you take that one? 
there was rock, there was ballet. Yeah. There was a fishing class. I mean, when, when you're in Miami, you're doing a lot of different things at Miami. So yes. Berkeley's a little bit, you know, different standards, a, a very <laughs> Ivy, nothing away from the University of Miami yeah. now, but Berkeley guys, they, they, they're getting after it there oh. with their history class. It was, uh, it was very serious two unit class where we watched very serious documentaries and there was no homework. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus real quick, Mark, before we let you go, I, I just added this on the fly. Mark can or cannot outlift Yonder Alonzo in the weight room. Uh, oh, no, no, he's got me. I mean, look at the guys. He's a he's what we call a barrel chested view. Let's go. And uh, <laughs> And I'm just, I'm, I'm too small. I'm, I'm not in the same weight class. I'm not, I'm not in the same class. <laughs> we just hit waffles. We're hitting waffles yeah. left and right. Yeah. That's it. Protein yeah, waffles. Yonder's bat was the, was the waffle iron because he'd hit so many waffles around the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Perfect. That's the juice we need. Mark, you were awesome. The game is over. You nailed it. How was Yonder in his first interview oh. on MLB Network? He's awesome. Awesome dude. He's going to be great. You guys are going to love him. We're pumped to have him. Mark, you're awesome too. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Have fun kicking it in the leadoff spot, all right? All right. See you guys. See you, yo.